Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals, and JSA Radio, the voice of tech and telecom on iHeartRadio. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya, here at West 7th Center, downtown Los Angeles, with my friend, Mr. Darren Eads. He is the Executive Vice President of the Southern California region of JLL. Darren, welcome to JSA TV. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Well, we love being here at West 7th Center. Thanks for having us. And we should say that we are standing in one of the most connected cities in the world, Los Angeles, and more so with the 2028 uh, bid that we won for Olympics. Uh, coming up in a few years from now, right. so uh, it's bound to be even more connected uh, quickly. And West 7th is the only, and let me know if I got this right, the only purpose-built data center for Los Angeles? Yes, that's correct. I mean, that's one of the things that sets us apart and makes us unique from some of the other assets in, uh, in Southern California. A lot of the data centers were either former office buildings or warehouse facilities uh, that were converted to data centers. Mm -hmm. This one was actually built for First Interstate Bank and is purposely built for their data center and their subterranean uh, flora in this, uh, in this building. Oh, and that's amazing. And when we talk about LA, often the concepts of, oh, we're running out of space and power comes up for other facilities, but not necessarily the case here. Right, since we acquired the asset, I mean, the facility has 22 megawatts of power and well over 100,000 square feet available currently in about 13 megawatts uh, of space. We're, we're leasing space up. We've had a lot of uh, recent transactions that have uh, been very exciting for the building. Uh, the building's spending a lot of money and spending a lot of time and to try to uh, do some tremendous upgrades to make this uh, a lot better facility. And, and for sure, uh, when I took the tour, I was amazed at how many uh, upgrades that were already made, uh, huge pipes for, for unbelievable capacity. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what we would see if we came down here and took a tour? Sure. Uh, you know, a lot of times uh, we're very proud of the uh, back of the house infrastructure. So we'll get the, the engineers who have been uh, with the uh, facility for many years and we'll uh, start in the underground uh, portion of that, which is the generator in the back of the house where the chilled water plants are that we spent a considerable amount of time and effort to upgrade those. Uh, then we'd proceed on and look at uh, a lot of the available space we have. Again, uh, we have about 13 megawatts currently, um, and uh, based upon what the need for the client is, we can configure any of those spaces however they need to get up to that capacity. Unbelievable. And uh, even the rooftop, there's an amazing uh, uh, ability to really have these clear sight lines across the city. Absolutely. On a day that there's no smog in LA, it's pretty. It's pretty nice. Uh, pretty nice view up there. But uh, yeah, we're investigating that. Uh, what we can do to better utilize that that space on the roof of the building, uh, as well as the entire you know footprint of our campus. We have a very, uh, rather large campus here that we can do a lot with with different upgrades and upgrading the generators. And uh, we've looked at solar power uh, farms and, and many different options uh, that we can have here. At, uh, usually in LA, you're constrained with with uh, footprint, uh, that's one thing we don't have problems with. Unbelievable, and and uh, I mentioned, uh, I read a lot on your site about uh, disaster recovery services as well. Uh, can you tell us uh, about how you might be a, a bit more earthquake ready than some others? Sure, yeah, this building, uh, if I was, you know, hopefully there's no big earthquake in LA, but if I were to be in one, it, I'd want to be in this building. This building was uh, built, it's essentially like, you know, Fort Knox. Uh, the, it's uh, built to withstand well over an 8.0 earthquake and, uh, you know, again, with the disaster recovery, depending on where clients need to be located, where the current facilities are, it's just a great option for them. Um, we have, you know, uh, close ac access to uh, one, uh, one Wilshire as well as uh, low latency, so it's, it's a great op opportunity for people. And this is definitely a growth story here, guys. So when you look into your crystal ball, Darren, what do you see for West 7th Center in the next uh, 12 to 24 months ahead? Uh, we see a lot, of, uh, a lot of upgrades, a lot of efficiencies. There's uh, you know, many different ways that we can help our clients and customers uh, save money and, uh, and time. And uh, we're really uh, looking forward to leasing the, leasing the building up as soon as we can and helping our clients out to grow. Thank you so much, Darren. Clearly a growth story. For our viewers who may want to know more, go ahead and check out west 7 centercom as written below with the number 7. And uh, thank you, Darren, for having us in your facility. Thank you. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.